Nearly all energy for life on Earth comes from the sun, but only plants and some bacteria can convert sunlight into energy. Herbivores like Triceratops bring that energy into the animal world by consuming the plants, and predators consume them for that very same energy. One look at the skeleton of T-Rex and you can probably guess what kind of food it ate. An adult Tyrannosaur was 40 feet long, Weighing around six tons, its head reached to about 16 feet high and ended in massive jaws stuffed with banana-sized teeth, serrated like steak knives. Such teeth would be excellent at carving meat into chunks small enough to swallow. Chunks of meat would need a large stomach in which to digest, and the barrel-like torso of T. rex could have housed just such a sizable stomach, along with the large heart and lungs needed to power an animal this size. The Tyrannosaur's body thins out near the hips. Meat-eaters don't need intestines as long as those of plant-eaters, and a good thing, as the gut tapers, the leg muscles flare out. These gigantic leg muscles are built for speed over short distances. But can the bones truly tell us about behavior? Can they tell us how an extinct animal lived its life? To answer that question, we employ the tools of modern science. Using medical scanners, scientists estimate the size and shape of T. rex's brain from the size and shape of the cavity inside the skull. Since behavior originates with the brain, the size of different areas of T. rex's brain might tell us what it's capable of. A large olfactory bulb would have allowed T. rex to smell carcasses and other strong odors from great distances, important for both hunters and scavengers. A thick optic nerve paired with forward-facing eyes suggests excellent vision, also important for both hunters and scavengers. The largest inner ear structure of all the tyrannosaurs means improved balance and agility and superior hearing, important for a hunter. So tyrannosaurs likely had the head for scavenging and hunting, but how about the muscle? How fast could they run? Well, we don't really know, but with some basic detective work we can learn quite a bit. Examination of fossil footprints, also known as trackways, can tell us how an animal moved. Although we don't have tracks from a T-Rex, we can look at the tracks of its relatives to help us imagine how T-Rex might have moved. Recently, paleontologists have turned to computers and simulations, similar to what you'll experience in this exhibit, to test their ideas. Scientists also compare extinct creatures to animals alive today, such as running birds, elephants, crocodiles, and others to help reconstruct dinosaurs known only by their bones. We'll never be certain how dinosaurs really moved, but based on lines of evidence, we can say that a T-Rex could walk no more than 10 miles an hour, might be able to run at 16 miles an hour, but couldn't sprint faster than a top speed of 25 miles an hour at best, perhaps even slower. Not too fast, but fast enough to potentially run down a triceratops, especially over a short distance. Thank <laughs> you.